Here we are in front of 1111. That's a winning number in Nevada. Bingo. Uh, that's a start. 1111 Grotto Trail in the Water Barrel Subdivision, Sun City Mesquite Del Webb. Really nice Astra model. 1,451 square feet. Uh, two bedroom, den, two bath. Home is in really good shape. It was built back in 2008. Just has been painted recently. Air conditioner has been replaced within the last few years. So uh, this home is just in tremendous shape. So beautiful tree to enter. I just want to give you kind of a look at the entry. Mountain view down the hill here. And the Astor, it's a great home. I used to live in this floor plan. I really did like it. Has a really good elevation. There is nothing up there. That's just a different look. They try to make them look different. So really nice you can enter here. House has been painted. It's beautiful shape. Um, all the doors have been painted. Everything is in fantastic shape. You will not have to do anything outside. Air conditioner is good. The paint is good. Window coverings all over. Big, big tile laid on the diagonal. That's an upgrade when you do things. The uh, interior people tell you that that'll make a room feel more, you know, more open, larger. Ceiling fans, they're going to be throughout the home. This is our great room, which is really nice with the breakfast bar into the kitchen. All your back area, the three windows there in the cafe kitchen. You got the same thing in the master bedroom. Very nice home, very bright window coverings. We, this is your office off of the main floor. This is why folks like this house. So kitchen office, great room in the same area. However, the office does have glass doors to close uh, if you need privacy. So they have elected to set this up as a dining room. I have seen this set up as an office. I have seen this set up as a reading room. However you want to do that or even a TV room. So as you walk here, this area, the guest bedroom is down the hallway, just off the great room. You can see the bed there. Uh, that door in the middle, we're going to have a laundry, nice laundry room. And then we have the outside door to the garage. Okay, so let's start down on the guest bedroom side. So as I'm looking down the hallway to the right is a linen closet. Straight ahead is the door into the garage. So what I want to show you here is the, uh, the laundry room. Washer dryer, nice laundry room. I've seen folks put the upper cabinets, you know, you can go to Home Depot or somewhere buy these upper cabinets, gives you a lot more storage. So before we head into that garage, nothing fancy, just an insulated, well, insulated garage, first thing. Also your garage is facing to the east, right? So you're gonna get a morning sun, not as hot in the afternoon. So the garage is painted, it is insulated. I don't believe it is extra any larger. It does not look like the original water heater. So that looks like a newer water heater. And it does have a water softener. So those are fantastic things. Coming back in. The carpet, you know, nice Berber carpet. Um, very spongy, like it has an upgraded, um, upgraded pad, right? So you come into the guest bedroom. Has a sizable closet. When I lived in this home, this model, not this house particularly, but this model, I had the local closet company come and they built me an organizer. So I had shelves, hanging area, drawers, really made for a good storage area. Yeah, so this home is 1,451 square feet. Really nice size. As we come down that hall closet just before the bathroom, that's just a coat closet where all your electronics come into the home, internet, cable, that kind of stuff, telephone. The guest bathroom looks fantastic. Single vanity, higher toilet, built-in shower enclosure that is in fantastic condition. So that's wonderful. So now we're back into the great room, ceiling fan. And what we're gonna do, this is looking into the kitchen, the breakfast bar, really comfortable home, great home to entertain in. Uh, I want to go into the master bedroom first and then we'll do the kitchen and go outside. Okay, here we are uh, Beautiful little entry into the master bedroom a little area. You might be able to do some art or things like that uh, Once again, this really nice Berber carpeting with a spongy pad Ceiling fan the three windows. I told you the whole house is windows in the back. So that's fantastic uh, We have Mesa views 
And then the master bathroom. The master bathroom does have a door that closes off to the master bedroom. Dual vanity. It's really good here. We do have a shower and a bath in the other uh, shower. And this in the master, so if you have to bath, you go the other way. But this is a shower enclosure uh, with a low threshold entry. That's fantastic. Toilet. And then a sufficient closet, okay? And once again, you can also, if you need more, you can hire that closet company and they'll build you some really efficient. Uh, this looks pretty efficient to me. So, uh, coming out, the dual vanity sink. The window above the sink. Nice mirror. Master bedroom. Ceiling fan, windows. Taking a turn. Let's go. Let's go here into the great room. Really nice breakfast bar. Beautiful granite countertops. The cabinets are in beautiful condition. Really nice condition. What I want to point out here is we do have the roll-out drawers throughout over here. Um, nice stainless sink. Appliances are upgraded. Nice stainless appliances in fantastic condition. Pantry over in the corner. Uh, the wall of windows as we talked about. They have a table set up here and an office over there. So you can see this is a pretty good sized room and there's a lot of flexibility in what you can do. And then as we look out to the patio, I'll point out some of my things that I like about that. So going back here, ceiling fan, kitchen, just one more spin before we walk out. And then that really nice wall of windows here in the cafe. <clears throat> so we're going to come out. This is a uh, Backing up to Oxbow Bend, I've been out here a few times today. Just behind that wall, there is a surface street. Hardly ever traveled on. Mesa views up top. Haven't heard of vehicles since I've been here. Nice good yard. So if you look at your neighbor this way, uh, they're going to be living on their patio on that side of the house, away from you. And as I turn left, see, uh, they're going to be living on the other side of the house that way. Talked about the paint has been done. As you can see, you know, there's uh, when they painted it, so they would they sealed it. You're never going to really get rid of those cracks, but uh, you know, the house has been painted. It's good. It's sealed. Um, it's just a cosmetic issue, not the end of the world. But some people may think so. You're in the back of the house. You're really not looking at it. Um, nice wall. Nice privacy. Beautiful tall mesquite tree throws you a ton of shade. Okay, so here's your back patio, and then uh, the three windows going in. So. Here's the house at the 1111. You're a winner. Grotto Trail in Mesquite, Nevada. Sun City, Del Webb. Robert Goody here with Remax Ridge Realty on a lovely Mesquite day. Any questions, you please get a hold of me.